Right, salam alaikum. Alaykum May I know what's your name? My given name is Latanya Floyd. Um, my Islamic name that I chose for myself is Rashida. Um, and the Saifullah is actually from my eldest brother who became Muslim first. And we kind of all just took the same oh, last mashallah. name. Okay, may I know, how was your life, or how long have you been Muslim? I've been Muslim since 95, so about 13 years. MashaAllah. And how was your lifestyle before that? Oh, how was my lifestyle? Um, well, before I accepted Islam, before I started really searching, um, I wasn't part of any particular denomination. Mm -hmm. um, I had grown up Catholic until I was about 12. And that's actually when my brother accepted Islam, my eldest brother. And had given the family enough dawah to kind of, you know, that's have true. us understand that that wasn't um, what we should be doing. So right. since about age 12, I would always tell people I believe in God, but I'm not, I don't follow any particular denomination. Mm. So, um, so I kind of started making my own rules. So to speak, I had my own women-made laws for myself, and I got to a point in my life where I, I broke one of my own rules, oh. and I knew I needed the laws of God to guide my life. So I started searching, and I had, was, again, familiar with Islam from my eldest brother, and mm -hmm. I knew it would be one of the monotheistic creeds. It was no so hold reason. on, your, your oldest brother was a Muslim already? Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, how long have you been Muslim? How long have I? Or how long uh, have you? Him first. Um, the early 80s. Wow, so mashallah. So he's been a Muslim and you've been like looking at him and watching him and stuff like that. Well, yeah. yeah. So wow, mashallah. My father actually became Muslim after him. Wow, like mashallah. Days. That's yeah. great. So I had two family members already. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Um, so again, after breaking one of my own laws for myself, I said it's time for me to really start seriously searching for a deen, a religion, a way of life. Mm -hmm. um, so, and Islam didn't win by default. <laughs> I That's actually true. studied and um, mm -hmm. had gotten plenty of information on the monotheistic creeds. And I said, okay, well, Judaism's out because, you know, I do believe in Prophet Isa, Prophet That's Jesus, true. peace be upon him. That's true. So I knew I couldn't go there. And having, especially having been Christian already, I had that, I had that belief in, in the Prophet uh, Isa. So um, then I said, well, what was wrong with what I was doing before? And even as a child, you say to yourself, okay, you taught me how to add, and I know one plus one plus one is three. It's not one. So um, growing up Catholic, you know, you have the Trinity, you have uh, the Hail Mary. Forget about the fact that I was praying to Mary, but just in saying the Hail Mary, you know, you say Hail Mary, Mother of God, stuff a lot. And so... Even as a child, I'm like, she's not the mother of God. She's the mother of Jesus. So That's true. You, you run into these things even That's as a fine. child. So, mm -hmm. you know, and, and going back and looking at the history of uh, Christianity and understanding where some of the changes took place and, you know, wondering to yourself, okay, if you have all of these monotheist decrees, and they're all from the same creator, why is it that some pick and choose some books and mm -hmm. some pick and choose some prophets? Right. And so after learning more about Islam and understanding that part of the belief system is to believe in all the books as they were originally revealed. All of the prophets. And it just really, really hit home with me. And, and right. the, the Tawheed, the belief in the oneness of Masha God, Allah. that was really just, that was it. I, knew, I knew right then that, you know, mm -hmm. that Islam was the way for me. MashaAllah. And, uh, okay. What was okay? Now you give me all the story right away. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, now mashallah. How how was uh, you know the, the step that you became Muslim? Well, like I said, I broke one of my own rules. I won't tell you what it is, but so I did broke you one go to own. the masjid or did you? Well, no. Actually, I started questioning my brother. I started que questioning my Christian sister, mm -hmm. um, and just getting information from them and started reading. Um, but yeah, it was you know I had stopped everything. Everything I was doing before, the hanging out, all that, stopped. Mashallah. You know, and I said, okay, I'm going to go through a period of searching. It was about six months, I would say, um, that, you know, I had cut all the stuff out that right. I wouldn't have been doing. And so I really had a good preparation right. after right. I took shot. I was Mashallah. already, you know, Seriously. in that lifestyle. So, so oh, it was Mashallah. just, it came to a point in my life. And I was only 23, but I had experienced enough. You yeah, know, I had, Mashallah. I had experienced enough. Mashallah. Uh, now, you know, as you have like two members of the family. Well, three now, besides myself. MashaAllah. After I became Muslim, my other brother How about Muslim. your mother and the other people? Well, my mom, she never, she said I followed him into Catholicism. I'm not following him into something else. So, but she has read. And actually, it's, it's interesting because 
my father had told her something mm -hmm. and she went back and researched it on her own and found that it wasn't a hundred percent that what, what it was that he had told her. it was his understanding but once she read up she was like actually and she was able to go back to him and let him know what Islam said about that particular issue. It was kind of interesting. But she has the Quran. She's, you know, well read. She believes that um, Jesus is a prophet of God. She doesn't believe Jesus is God. And she actually told us. She told me. She's like, I never taught you guys that. Where did you, where did some of your sisters get it, mm -hmm. um, it from that Jesus was God? I never taught you that. Mm -hmm. So, um, so I at least have yeah, the comfort. Her, you know. Yeah, I at least mm -hmm. have the comfort in knowing that she's not committing shirk. And she, she knows the difference between God and Jesus. So. May Allah guide her step to Islam. Amen. Amen. Now that takes me to my sisters though. I'm the youngest of nine. I wow, have mashallah. Six sisters and two brothers. So, yeah. you know, I'm the only female in the family so far oh, okay. that has accepted Islam. Mashallah. But I, I think that, you know, May my Allah sisters, guide them too. Yeah, I think my sisters see, yeah. you know, that um, the lifestyle change, the, the, the way of living, it's, it makes your life simpler, not mm. harder, mm. you know, and I think they see that. And so, inshallah, I make dua for them that they also come to Islam. Okay, now how do you see your life after Islam? Like, uh, <gasps> how is your lifestyle now uh, comparing to the old life in Islam? Well, before that six-month period, um, a lot different. I mean, I think I'm actually more active and more involved in, in the community at large. I see that, than, mashallah. I, mean, I see it all the time, you know, all, all everywhere. So, we all love this too. Before, I, I can't remember, I could not tell you one time when I volunteered at a shelter or anything mm -hmm. like that. So, just the, the humanitarian side of Islam and understanding that you, all of your neighbors, whether mm -hmm. they're Muslims or not, mm -hmm. you know, deserve mm -hmm. your help. Right. So I would say that's a big difference. Um, one of the major differences, of course, is with taking the hijab and having a totally different uh, approach from the male community as well as the female. I'll give mm. you an example. Before I took my shahada, about a week before, I started covering actually a week before or so before I took shahada, by the way. Um, we'll, we can talk more about the hijab later if you like. Mm -hmm. um, but I went to a grocery store and I had on my regular clothes, you know, all that before, um, before then. And I noticed how the women reacted to me. You know, there was her hair, you know, and all this kind of thing. So, you know, the way they treated me was much different, mm -hmm. you know, after mm -hmm. I went to that same grocery store mm -hmm. in hijab. Mm -hmm. It was, ma'am, can I help you, ma'am? It was totally different. And the same thing so, with the men. I mean... It was the day of the Million Man March, actually. My brother had written a book, and he had a tape series, and we were out handing out flyers. And I had covered that day, and I wasn't mm -hmm. Muslim yet. Mm -hmm. And I noticed that when I handed these men these flyers, now these were not, they were not all Muslim, mm -hmm. but they lowered their gaze and said, thank you, sister. Thank you, sister, when they took it from me. Wow. So this Although is not difference. everybody like that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but this is a big difference from wow. how you doing, you know. Yeah. So, yeah, so that... I always understood the purpose of hijab. That's why it was so easy for me. Mm -hmm. Coming from a Catholic background too, seeing the nuns and so forth, you knew that women who covered were covering because of their reverence for God. I never associated hijab with oppression, so I never had that, that skewed view of, mm -hmm. of hijab. I understood mm -hmm. the purpose of it. Mm -hmm. And having grown up in this society, I understood the purpose of it. So, alhamdulillah. MashaAllah. Now, what would you give a message to the world? If I had one message to give to the world. And not, let's say like for non-Muslims and for Muslims then after that. Oh, you know? okay. Well, for yeah. non-Muslims, I would say, you know, to study more, to read more. Right. To, you know, not take just what you see on TV or on the internet or, you know, but to actually delve and study for yourself. Right. Study what you're doing mm -hmm. to make sure that what you're doing is right. And, you know, study other things as well. Um, because I think if more people knew the history of what they're doing and how they came to practice what they're practicing, they would have a much different take on things. Right. So I would definitely say to investigate Islam on your own. Don't believe what you see on the seven, you know, eight o'clock news, whatever. News or something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So to study on your own. Sure. For the Muslims, I would say that we need to come together. Mm -hmm. We need one ummah. You know, all of this division is ridiculous. I mean, really, <laughs> we'll divide about anything. Right. You know, so and alhamdulillah, you know, we're still we're still pretty good, we're striving, but we really do need to come together, you know, and, and to stop all these petty differences. 
That's right, mashallah. Okay, Jazakallah Khair, sister. Thank you so much. May Allah bless you.